going on y'all welcome back to the vlog welcome back to the channel um today <clears throat> we're gonna be covering something that i've been putting up for a very very long time um honestly i felt like there was no point in doing it in the summertime but now that winter's rolling back around and this car is up and up north i have no choice but to make sure it's prepped and ready for the winter and this is one of the biggest things so i don't know if you guys noticed but um a little while ago these lights appeared on my dashboard here so you have 4x4 light, I mean the, the traction control light, ABS and brake light, and a stupid uh, TTMS light. Those, well, I don't know about this light today, but these three lights indicating that my transfer case is now not functioning properly. So I have no choice but to make sure I get it right for the worst time. So today that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it to BMW of Port Chester because um, I felt like they're a very great dealership and they're not one of the quote unquote dealerships. So I'm going to take it there, see um, what they're talking about in terms of how much it's going to take to do everything and then we're going to get everything going. guys we're heading in so I'm gonna go in and talk to them and then um I'm gonna highlight you guys when I come back out I don't know if they, they like me recording or anything like that so let me just go get everything situated and I'll talk to you guys when I come back out all right we're back outside <clears throat> back outside again uh, left the dealership about an hour and two hours ago I went and got a haircut and things like that you know what I'm saying how to get looking right uh, I was looking crazy before I came along looking real crazy but um the good thing is I, they gave me a loaner car so I can go around and do what I got to do. The M3 will not be getting driven like that. I'm going to drive this loaner car until I get my 328 back. But um, I just want to explain to you guys exactly why I end up going with fixing the transfer case at the dealership per se. Um, so I have a good service advisor at the dealership. Um, he always, you know, breaks down everything, uh, pricing and things like that. But he told me exactly what the problem was and, how, and why I should fix it. And um, upon doing my own research as well. He's absolutely correct. Um, I had a guy that I could have brought it to who said that they was going to just change one of the gears inside the transfer case, which was, the, that's, that's what they assumed the problem was. So uh, I decided not to do that. I didn't want nobody in and out the transfer case like that. I'd rather swap the whole thing out, put a new one in. Um, so basically what I was told and what I, what I found out online is that in the, cancer, in the transfer case, there are, these, there are gears that, that are intertwined with each other that, you know, that spins the transmission. Um, over time, one one or two or some of those gears gets worn down and then uh it just it will disable the all-wheel drive system and it won't really run as it should uh so basically with that being said i decided just to fix the transfer case by itself um this way there's no issues in the future i don't really got time for no issues and things like that like i said i have my car for about nine and a half years and this is the first real life the first major issue that i'm fixing this car at all so the car's been really really good but they gave me a little car they gave me a 2021 G20 330i G um, 3 series. Um, be on the lookout. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a film on that by itself. Um, just the overall experience of driving this car compared to the old 328, and um, I'll, I'll even compare the technology to that of this to the M3. But other than that, though, um, that's what's happening. I'm gonna enjoy this car for a little bit. And the next time we meet up again, I'm going to be going back to BMW to pick up the car. Like I said, they advised me about a week or so. So until that note, I'm going to see you guys when I get there. So the next time you see me, it's, I'm going to be probably a few days ahead. But we're going to be back at BMW. Yo, what up, family? Um, I know we're back, we're back, we're back. So I know in the last part of the video, I did say that the next time you see me, I'm going to give you guys an update on 328. We should be picking it up by that point in time. But it's been about a week since that video happened. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Um, and I did get an update on the 328 today. Um, I'm in the M3 right now. I had to drive the M3 up there today because I had to get a part for the car. 
and I had to make sure it fits properly, so I did that today. And upon me getting there, I was told that you know there's been a halt in shipment across the country on certain things. So things that I need for the transfer case, like little miscellaneous parts, things like bushings and all the other stuff, did not come yet. The transfer case is actually there, but the other pieces and other components that I need um, to complete the installation has not arrived yet. So I'm gonna have the loaner call for about another week. And um, I just wanted to give you guys the update on that. I didn't want to leave you guys waiting, um, just wondering like what happened to the transfer case. So that's the update on that. And um, it was good because I haven't really driven the M3 in about a week and a half, two weeks anyway. So it was good to give it a little bit of drive and you know, let it stretch its legs a little bit like, and things like that. But on that note, that's just the update on the 328. Um, hopefully in the next video, I have an update, another update, or I'm actually picking up the car by that point in time. But we'll see, I'm not sure yet. Um, it just depends on the shipment of those items and when they arrive to BMW. Um, so on that note, this video is effectively over and I wanna thank you guys for, for the wait. But um, um, make sure you hit the like button, the share button, the notification bell below. Um, also subscribe to the channel so this way you don't miss no videos that I post and you'll get notified by hitting that bell below again Like I just said and on that bombshell this video is effectively over peace